Steve Cunningham, um, the guy that Tyson Fury said gave him his toughest fight and was his toughest fighter, goes on to say that if he fights Alexander Uzik, he will be disqualified. This is a very interesting thing to say. And not only that, it's a very interesting time to say what he's saying. And the question you have to ask yourself is why? Tyson Fury cheating or doing something iffy in the ring? It's nothing new. You just seen him elbow somebody. You just seen him push somebody. You just seen a floppy glove. And you also seen several long counts. I got him on video. Okay. You seen several long counts. 15 seconds, 20 seconds. You've seen it all. So why now does Steve Cunningham come out, come out and say, well, if he fights Uzik, he's going to get disqualified. Why now? You want to know why? Because at this point in time, this is not the kind of fight where they will allow him to cheat because they have a guy on the other end who looks like the guy that's fighting, who also looks like the guy who's behind the scorecards, who also looks like the guy that's sitting at home. OK, and that's where they're not going to allow cheating. This is why I brought up. I said they're talking code language when um, when um, Fury's team was talking about don't go crying to the ref. I told y'all, I was like, that's code language for they're going to get up in there and cheat. And I asked you guys, I was like, do you think people will accept Tyson Fury's floppy glove in, in this fight? Do you think people will accept Tyson Fury throwing a towel over the camera in this fight? And we all know what the answer is. No, 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 and no. That's why it's very interesting what Steve Cunningham said, because you know what? I agree with him. At any time, he will get disqualified for doing some illegal or fucked up shit. It's going to be in this fight. But the question you have to ask yourself is why this fight out of all other fights when we could have disqualified him or when he should have been qualified? Or how about when the fight should have been stopped, you know, from a big cut and all this other stuff? Why is it this fight that he feels that all of a sudden people who have turned a blind eye before will suddenly have eyes and pick up on any treachery or any trickery shit that he going to be doing in this fight? You want to know why? It's because of his opposition. Now, can you put all that together or do I have to glue it together for you? It makes all the sense in the world now, right? That's why I say it's super important for Alexander Uzik to win because it goes against the program. At, at the same time, they will take it, but they would prefer Fury because Fury has the mouth. You know what I'm saying? They can push Fury the way they want to push Fury. They can push the narrative the way they want to push the narrative. With Uzik, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay? You guys putting this shit together? You know what I'm saying? I've been, you know what? I've been I've been pulling y'all along behind me this whole time, hoping y'all have the intelligence, ho hoping y'all have the wherewithal to figure it out and start putting this shit together because honestly, I get sick and tired of spelling shit all the way out to the T. It's the shit that gets me to spell shit all the way out to the T is what get people running for the fucking hills. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy to say this shit. It's not, but we all know what it is. And I just thought Steve Cunningham saying that now was very interesting because he could have said this about a lot of fights, but he feels strongly if he tries it in this fight, he will get disqualified. And the question I got to ask you is why this fight? Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane. I'm out.